Getting My Ex Back, The Easy Versus The Hard Way A few years ago, I met a man that I honestly thought I would be with forever. I'd never been one to believe in love at first sight, but when we met at the home of a mutual friend during a summer barbecue, sparks seemed to literally fly between us. To this day, I have never fall so far, so fast, for any man. We became almost inseparable from the first day and I moved into his apartment two weeks after we met. Our first year together was amazing, I believed fully that we were headed for marriage until things seemed to change. I couldn't quite put my finger on it, but he was hardly ever home, he was always late, he started spending more time with his friends. When I'd call him or text him, he'd say his phone must have accidentally been turned off or that the battery was acting weird. Of course I did all the usual girlfriend things, I made his favorite dinner, I called him constantly, I even spent time with his mom talking about what was happening. I felt so out of control and alone I knew my relationship was in a tailspin and I felt completely helpless to stop it. Two months after our one-year anniversary, we had a huge fight and he kicked me out of his apartment. It was over that is when my trouble really began. I became obsessed with getting my ex back. I dreamed of the good times we'd had together, I talked to anyone who would listen about my relationship that had failed. Eventually, my friends stopped calling me and I could see people getting upset with listening to me crying over my ex, I fixated on getting my ex back and tried so many things. I would wait at his car while he was at work so I could talk to him when he came outside. I left him notes on his apartment door, I sent hundreds of text messages, I emailed him all of my feelings constantly. But no matter what I tried, it seemed that getting my ex back was never going to happen, that's when a friend recommended an amazing online course about getting my ex back by pretending I accepted his decision, apologizing for my crazy, stalker-like behavior and getting back to the life I had before the relationship began. Honestly, the first couple of days were probably the hardest days ever, smiling when I didn't want to smile, apologizing to him and telling him I accepted his decision when inside I was solely focused on getting my ex back and not much else but, slowly, I truly started to enjoy myself and each day got easier and easier to feel like my old self. My depression started to lift and I felt better than I had in a while. When the mutual friends were having their annual barbecue again, they asked if it was okay for me and my ex to both be there and I agreed that I was fine with it and I meant it. Wouldn't you know it I was laughing with some friends when my eyes met his across the room. I smiled at him, he smiled at me and we started talking. It turns out that he was terrified of making a commitment which is why he broke up with me. But once he saw me back to my old self, instead of acting like his worst nightmare a controlling, psycho girlfriend, he realized how much he truly loved me. We've been happy for years, now dot if you're in this situation or need some help winning back your boyfriend, check out www.magicallymakingup.com. It's seriously the best resource I found on the internet about getting my ex back.